I've described the principles and performance of a single injection supraingual fascia iliaca or sci-fi block in another video. Here, I demonstrate how to place a sci-fi block catheter using a supraingual insertion site. To briefly recap the principles of a supraingual sci-fi block, the aim is to block the branches of the lumbar plexus, especially those that innervate the hip joint, by injecting under the fascia covering iliacus muscle, the fascia iliaca. The branches of the lumbar plexus traverse the psoas and iliacus muscles as they descend towards the lower limb. Local anesthetic injected deep to fascia iliaca will reach these branches by spreading in fascial and intermuscular planes. Prepare the usual equipment and drugs needed for catheter insertion. Place the probe with its lateral edge on the ASIS and the medial edge pointing towards the umbilicus in an oblique orientation. Identify the key sonographic landmarks. First, the bony ilium, recognizable by the dropout shadow. Second, the triangular cross section of the iliacus muscle lying on the ilium, encased in the hyperechoic fascia iliaca. The abdominal wall muscles, external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis abut the medial aspect of iliacus muscle and fascia iliaca. If the probe is caudal to the ASIS, the external oblique may have transitioned into an aponeurosis and only two muscle layers will be seen. Look for and avoid the iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerves and branches of the deep circumflex iliac artery that lie sandwiched between internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. The patient in this example is an older individual with relatively thin muscle layers, typical of many hip fracture patients. Careful survey scanning identifies the ascending branch of the deep circumflex artery and the iloinguinal ilohypogastric nerves in their expected location between internal oblique and transversus abdominis. In this case, I'm using a Pyunk ECath catheter over needle set. The needle is inserted close to the ASIS using an out of plane approach initially to ensure that the artery and nerve are not in the needle trajectory. Advancement through the musculofascial layers is guided by tactile pops and visual imaging cues. Once the needle tip has reached fascia iliaca, the probe and needle are repositioned to achieve an in-plane view. Placement of the needle tip under fascia iliaca is confirmed by hydrolocation with half mil test injections of local anesthetic. The in-plane view allows more precise placement of the needle tip in the subfascial plane and more importantly facilitates accurate advancement of the introducer needle into the subfascial compartment under fascia iliaca as the loading bolus injection is completed. The introducer stylet is withdrawn and replaced with the inner cannula of the ECath. Scanning confirms placement of the cannula under fascia iliaca and spread of local anesthetic injected through the cannula.